inconsistency. Yeah. That's what many people will mm. think. And monitoring social media and the marches as closely mm. as I did over the weekend, it is clear that if the police are quietly patting themselves on the back, mm. there are many, many people out there who are frankly enraged by a lack of action, yeah. by people being able to stand on the streets of London and call for jihad in whatever form that is yeah. and not face arrest. However, another thing the Met have done, and they did this last night, there was one young man pictured at the weekend mm. waving a flag with Arabic writing yes. on it and he was his photograph was put up there asking if people could identify him right. by the Met Police. Yeah. He was identified and he was arrested yesterday. So this kind of... Was that the one with the ISIS flag? Yes. Right. And, and it clearly shows that there is... It's a deliberate tactic by the police that sometimes if they feel an arrest is going to inflame the situation yeah. and could spark mass disorder, then they will gather what evidence they can through video and then identify the people and arrest them at a later stage when everybody's right. trotted off home. Wouldn't it be simpler just not to allow them to demonstrate in such large numbers? Because I know that um, some people have said this morning, why can't they operate the way they did during the coronation, for example, where they took the people that they thought were going to be difficult uh, and basically locked them up for a few hours um, and, uh, and then let them go later? Um, I know that that sort of is still creating rumbles of its own after the fact. But, you know, there's an awful lot of, of people who would say seeing hundreds of thousands or at least 100,000 people marching in the streets of London, it's quite an intimidating thing if you're from the Jewish community, isn't it? Once again, we're talking about the inconsistency yeah. of the policing. Although I would strongly suggest that the overwhelming majority of the crowds that gathered for the coronation were peaceful, happy, yeah, they weren't calling for jihad, and weren't, and they most definitely no. weren't. And I suspect the proportion of people who would cause trouble if they were given the slightest spark or just an opportunity would be higher at the protests that we've had yeah. the last two weekends than they certainly were. I mean, the other problem for me as well is that last night, non unbeknownst to most people, just because I happen to live nearby, um, there was a big protest that was sort of unofficial taking place in Tower Hamlets on the north side of the river by Limehouse, around that area, um, where the streets were basically brought to a complete standstill. Nobody could get anywhere. People were stuck for over an hour because the streets were literally taken over. Now... These um, demonstrators have also said they're going to continue to protest every single weekend. We've got Remembrance Sunday coming up pretty soon. Um, we've already got the cenotaph kind of protected by, by fencing. You know, surely the police are going to have to take a view and say, look, you can't just keep doing this for as long as you like for the rest of time. Especially if that demonstration is in East London was not previously sanctioned, authorised and policed accordingly. Because right. people do have the right to move around London oh, yeah. as they see fit. Well, we saw another instance, didn't we? I think it was on Friday night, where the Limehouse Link Tunnel, and I'm sorry for pe people who don't live in London, which basically connects Canary Wharf to the sort of the main part of the city, um, where there was a massive demonstration in there. People just stopped their cars, honked their horns, put their flashes on, and started waving flags around. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they're using the sort of tactic, perhaps they're going to call themselves Just Stop Israel. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to... Well, just exactly. Stop War. And we know how eventually unpopular yeah. that organisation Well, right. And so from the point of view, surely, of just serving the people of London who are not demonstrating, the police have to get a grip of this. Because I take your point, and many people will say, Peter's right, it's better not to go steaming in and causing a problem. However, if these people think that they can get away with marching up and down Piccadilly every single Saturday, they'll keep doing it. Absolutely. And what does it show, though? It shows that, actually, we've not really got multiculturalism as some of no. the, the left would have us believe, what we've got is parallel yeah. culturalism. Because right. so many people that were enraged at the weekend were looking at these demonstrators, were looking at the huge number of flags that were being waved. And as somebody said to me, imagine if 100,000 straight people mm. went onto the streets of London, OK, and they were waving flags mm. and said straight pride, for example. Right. How intimidating might that be for the LGBTQ plus community. Well, I've got some bad news for the LGBTQ plus brigade because they had one of their flags nicked and stamped on and confiscated by uh, the the P uh, the Palestinian, the Free Palestine uh, supporters in Trafalgar Square. So despite the fact they think they're all sort of allies in, uh, in left-wing politics, I'm afraid that's not quite right to be the case. But this is the other thing, you know, uh, the police warned off uh, a Christian group from having a demonstration in Golders Green, which is a very Jewish area that we both know well, um, they were told, oh, best not to do that because you might come to some harm. 
Well, that's extraordinary, isn't it, given what they're saying to the free Palestine crowd? Once again, inconsistencies. Who can they protect? Who can't they protect? We simply don't have enough police to be able to, on the streets to protect everybody yeah. all the time. Right. And I can understand why there is an increasing frustration at what people perceive as inconsistencies and, quite frankly, yes, there are hopefully going to be other arrests because I've seen evidence shown of signs yeah. which clearly break the law. I hope that people are arrested yeah. for that. Well